so basically we will be talking about few of these points today we'll try to understand what we mean with the sports medicine we'll just touch basics of sports injuries and we'll try to understand what we mean with the first aid so so when we call a sports medicine we mean sports and medicine so combination of sports and medicine is combinedly known as sports medicine what we mean with that jatinder uh, can i make you the host or subir ji can i make you the host because uh, i have to admit and uh, everyone yeah yeah it is clear i think doctor no but uh, i have to say your voice is audible sir yeah everything is perfectly online you are going perfect yeah, no no i have just made you the host because many people are in the waiting room so you can allow them okay so that's why i made you the host okay so when we talk about a sports medicine we mean sports and medicine so what does that mean scientific support for sports is sports medicine or sports sciences broadly speaking if in hindi we say khel ko milne wala vaigyanik aadhar so scientific support for sports is known as sports medicine or sports science so what exactly is sports medicine as i have already told you scientific support for sports or active individuals is known as sports medicine or sports science sports science is a little broader subject than sports medicine because few things are there which are not not included in the sports medicine so sports science also include them like uh, sports journalism sports management and everything exercise science also a part of sports sciences what is exercise science so you need to know exercise science is a very latest branch of sports science of or sports medicine in this science you can study ex exercise physiology recovery from injury strength and conditioning and the most important thing is exercise prescription you guys must be aware of this that in a uh, literature uh, of acsm american college of sports medicine they have said that exercise prescribers mean physical education teachers or the coaches and the physiotherapist if they know anything about the exercise pres prescription they can be included in the this complete health chain even the gym trainers if they are well aware of exercise prescription exercise what we mean with exercise prescription uh, i'll tell you uh, briefly uh, late in the talk but if i say something about that you can treat some basic morbidities like diabetes hypertension mild depression geriatric like old age diseases with the help of prescribing def the definite exercise exercises to them along with the medicine and everything so this is known as exercise prescription apart from that sports injury management we all know is a very known part of uh, sports medicine performance enhancement how a sports person can enhance his or her performance sports rehabilitation definitely this is a domain of a uh, uh, physiotherapist injury prevention all the coaches physical education teachers strength and conditioning coaches sports medicine doctor all must be aware of this stream of sports medicine sports psychology because the sports person has to undergo many psychological challenges also so sports psychology is definitely a part of sports medicine sports nutrition very important part and say physiology so this physiology is exactly exercise physiology what we have been talking about so i'll just put some light on the diff all these different sub specialties of sports science so number 1 is sports enhancement so sports medicine doctor strength conditioning coaches exercise physiologist physical education teachers they all can contribute to this sub specialty of sports medicine that means with the scientific technique they can enhance the performance of a sports person so with like periodization about which dr subir devnath would be talking definite principles of strength and conditioning some of the nutritional advices and some of the scientific methods you can increase performance of any sports person or 
any person who is generally routinely exercising. So this is known as performance enhancement. This is just an example of like isokinetic is a very good machine which is used for assessment, training purpose, and enhancement also. Shockwave therapy, yes, this is also again useful. And this is generally used for say, a physiotherapist generally use, use it for tennis elbow, uh, rotator cuff tendon calcifications, patellar tendinosis. So this is again a very useful modality. Nowadays, VO2 max testing. And uh, so VO2 max is like, so if we say in uh, like common words, so you can say like uh, a car gets a good mileage at around say 60 to 80 speed. So what does that mean? At what pace your body best utilizes oxygen? And if you go beyond that limit, there would not be proper utilization of oxygen and your performance may decrease. So VO2 max is a method of testing that maximum oxygen utilization to your body. And this can guide you for like uh, how you can increase the exercises and at what level you can perform best. Video gait analysis, yes, this is again very important. How you, how you put your foot on the ground, how you run, what is your running action, what is your posture during running, during bowling. So very much useful for cricket, for runners and any kind of sports where like uh, fast movement is needed. So in this video gait analysis, you can analyze uh, gait with the help of certain cameras, maybe five or six cameras. You uh, then interpret them with the help of some softwares and you can tell a sports person if there is any problem with the gait. Posture med, yes, this is again a balancing device needed for uh, uh, enhancement. Sports psychology, we have already talked about this. Today, I'm just going to like touching the basics of this uh, essential subspecialties of sports sciences. So when we talk about the sports psychology, like every sports person has to face some of the psychological challenges, defeats, gender issues, continuous uh, psychological stress of competition and preparation along with say financial challenges. So with the help of sports psychology, we try to understand if a patient or if a sports person uh, find any challenges with his routine career during the sports. Although the treatment has definitely should be given by a trained psychologist, but any of the person who claims himself as a sports medicine specialist or is connected to any of the sports person should know basics of the sports psychology. So you can understand whenever a behavior of a sports person changes, like he become over talkative, agitative, depressed, sleeplessness, so you can assess or you can at least understand that there's some psychological challenge that to that sports person. Sports nutrition. So we all are dependent on nutrition and this is a nutrition month definitely going on. So we'll try to keep a talk on sports nutrition later on also. So whatever we eat comes as a energy to our body. And in different kinds of sports, you require different energy pattern. Like in endurance sport, you do require a continuous supply of energy. So you would require a different kind of sports nutrition. Sports where you would require explosive energy like weightlifting or a sprint, there you would require a other kind of sports nutrition. So basics of sports nutrition must be clear to you. Sports hematology, not uh, very much useful for uh, basic learners. So I, I would sk skip that. Sports cardiology, like sports specific cardiac problem. This is a domain of cardiologist. So uh, they can assess because in endurance athletes, they're prone for some of the cardio cardiac problems also. So whenever they go to a cardiologist, the cardiologist again must be trained specifically in context of a sports person. And uh, in the sports med and thar association of sports medicine, we try to take cardiologists, gynecologists, skin specialists, physical education teachers, coaches, physiotherapists, everyone in a single loop and a single platform. The only purpose is that, that sports and the active population can be benefited out of that. Sports gynecology, female athletes do encounter some of the gyne gynecological problems also. 
respiratory medicine say exercise induced asthma is a common entity so these are all medical branches and what i mean to include all these medical branches to this ppt is that that all the qualified doctors should also be aware of what sports person uh, uh, can be treated specifically or what can be their specific problems sports law so sports law as i told you earlier that sports science does include these subjects apart from uh, medicinal things like uh, physiotherapy nutrition psychology and all this so sports law is what are the rights of a sports person for example if a sports person is being uh, trapped by say nada or wada then what are his rights and uh, how can he claim against uh, allegations uh, on him so sports law is definitely a different branch so some of the law people who are specifically trained to this sports law can handle problems of the sports person in a better way anti doping you must have heard a lot about anti doping so anti doping if we say uh, in common term pratibandhit dawaiyan so these are the drugs which are not allowed to be taken in competition or out of competition means during the competition and in between the competition so there are certain laws for that there are certain testing methods for that so any sports medicine specialist or any person who is working close to the sports person should be aware of these law and what are the testing methods of uh dope testing methods so some day we'll have a class of this uh, dope testing techniques also i am a dco with bcci so uh, we can talk a lot about that sports journalism yes that can be included in sports science so some of the journalists as you are already aware that some of the journalists who cover uh, sports specifically so they are part of this loop also so the uh, a positive atmosphere can be created related to sports related to the doctors who are attached to the sports and everyone who is related to sports and positive i'll just brief sports injuries because sports injury is a very big topic so i'll touch the basics so uh, actually we have three kinds of sports injury typical sports injury which any sports person encounter during the sports like football basketball lifestyle sports injury like slip from the stairs so there can be ligament injury with the lifestyle sports injury is also overuse injury so whenever someone use his body beyond the capacity of their body So typical examples are tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, patellar tendonitis. These are all are overuse injury. Arthroscopy is a word you should know. So whenever you encounter a sports person who has been treated with surgery, you would encounter this word arthroscopy. Arthroscopy means endoscopic surgery of knee joint. So basically, I am also arthroscopic surgeon, and basically we treat uh, many of the sports injuries with the help of arthroscopy. This is a very small instrument so patient or the sports person can resume back to their sports quite early sports injury i have already talked about typical sports injury which can occur during sports so these are different sports person who has encountered sports injury you can see sachin tendulkar has been treated for his shoulder problem tennis elbow jawagal shrinath has been operated for recurrent dislocation of shoulder tiger woods has been operated for anti cruciate ligament injury Yuvra Singh has already been treated. Shah Rukh Khan has got uh, has undergone say rotator cuff repair. Rotator cuff is a muscle growth in the shoulder. So maybe during performing some of the um, action scene, he may sustain this injury. So what I mean to say, again, sports injury can be a lifestyle injury also. What you can see in this picture, slip from the stairs. farmer can uh, sustain this injury on certain road traffic accident and one strange method of a sports injury is sometimes a drunken dancing also lifestyle injuries we have already talked about just i'll go through uh, these slides quickly knee sports injuries uh, we'll talk in detail uh, about all these sports injury and in some other talk so i'll skip these slides Anterior cruciate ligament is a common. 
I think someone's mic is not mute. Please keep your mic mute. So yeah. So whenever I'll just give you this. The common mechanism of anterior cruciate ligament injury, which is a ligament inside the knee joint, is twisting. So whenever your foot is fixed and your body is rotating, there's excessive twisting. As a result of that, this ligament get stretched out, and the injury is known as anterior cruciate ligament injury. So twisting in the is the commonest mechanism by which any sports person can uh, get a anterior cruciate ligament tear. So what would be his complaint or presentation like if you find this much of swelling, this much of swelling over the knee joint immediately after twisting injury? That means seventy percent cases anterior cruciate ligament has got injured. What is immediate treatment? First aid treatment, rest, ice compression, elevation. You all know about this. Ice is the primary thing which should be available. This is a very interesting fact that female sports person are more prone for knee ligament injuries. So one of the factor which is preventable is their landing technique. So you can see in this picture, the female sports person is not landing properly. She is landing with the knees very close. so as a result of that there is excessive load on the ligament so any female sports person whose landing technique is not proper should be given a proper uh, corrective techniques for that so this is a right landing technique for a female sports person ankle sports injuries ankle sprains i'll not go in detail about that so how can you how can you like uh, prevent all these injuries you all know about that warm up main activity and cool down is the principle this has to be followed very strictly otherwise a sports person are very much prone for these kinds of sports injury plantar fasciitis like some of the people complain pain inside the heel so primary treatment would be like massage testing vitamin d b12 as i told you i'll not go in details about all these injury for that we will take some another lecture so i'll just end my lecture with the first aid things so rest ice compression elevation this is the primary thing you should know rest mean whenever there is a severe acute sports injury that part of limb should be given rest kya hota hai ki hum logo mein se kuch field pe aisa hota hai ki severe sports injury hoti hai aur bina samjhe se soche samjhe sports person ko ye bolte hain chalo thoda sa daud ke dikhao जम करके देखाओ इफ यू आर श्योर कि उसमें कुछ बहुत स्वेलिंग नहीं है कोई डिफॉर्मिटी नहीं है यू कैन डेफिनेटली डू दैट बट इफ यू फाइंड अ ह्यूज स्वेलिंग देन रेस्ट शुड बी गिवन नॉट द एक्टिविटी आइस आइस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच शुड बी अवेलेबल टू एनी ऑफ द स्पोर्ट्स ग्राउंड तो आप उस पर आइस लगाएंगे कोई गर्म मसाज नहीं करेंगे कंप्रेशन उस एरिया को आपको कंप्रेस करके रखना है विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्रेप बैंडेज जिससे कि वहाँ जो ब्लीडिंग होता है वो फैले नहीं मतलब ब्लीडिंग वहां पे उसके सॉफ्ट टिश्यू में उसके मास में ब्लड नहीं बढ़े तो तीसरा चीज है कंप्रेशन इलिवेशन इलिवेशन मींस स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन के या उस पेशेंट के हार्ट के लेवल से आपको वो पार्ट थोड़ा सा ऊपर रखना चाहिए जिससे कि उस एरिया में स्वेलिंग नहीं आए यदि आप उसे लटका के रखते हैं तो देर वुड बी लाइक और यूज स्वेलिंग ऑन दैट तो डेफिनेटली हीट नहीं लगाना अल्कोहल नहीं लगाना कोई एक्सरसाइज नहीं बतानी और इमीडिएटली कोई मसाज आपको 24 से बहत्तर घंटे में बिल्कुल भी नहीं होना चाहिए आइस के बारे में हम लोग ऑलरेडी बात कर चुके हैं और कुछ टिप्स हैं ब्लीडिंग कंट्रोल करने के लिए किसी भी साफ कपड़े से या बैंडेड से आप उसे कंप्रेस करें सो कंप्रेशन लाइक फर्म कंप्रेशन This is not a compression like uh, I have told you with the help of crepe bandage. यदि कोई bleeding wound wound है तो आपको उसको किसी भी साफ कपड़े या बैंडेज से उसको firmly compress करना चाहिए With the help of compression, mm -hmm. like you can stop any kind of even major bleeding. So compression is the key to stop the bleeding. किसी भी साफ कपड़े से आप continuous compression दें till you uh, reach a definitive place like a hospital. so in the first aid treatment compression is the key if you find any deformity aapko aisa lagta hai ki uska limb deformed hai matlab uska shape kuch bigad chuka hai 
दैट मीन्स उसका हड्डी में कोई प्रॉब्लम है देर मे बी अ बोन इशू सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू कैन मीनार लग गया पिलो जिससे कि आप उस व्यक्ति को डेफिनेटिव प्लेस पे शिफ्ट कर जाए दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्प्लिंटिंग आप किसी भी चीज से लाइक कार्डबोर्ड से किसी लकड़ी के टुकड़े से स्प्लिंट बना सकते हैं और साफ पट्टी से उसको लपेट के वो स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन को डेफिनेटिव जगह पे शिफ्ट कर सकते हैं डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्प्लिंट किसी भी चीज को आप यूज कर सकते हैं क्या नहीं करना आपको जैसे आपने देखा कि उसका ये पेशेंट का ये स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन का उंगली डिसलोकेटेड है सो वॉट यू डोंट हैव टू डू डोंट ट्राई टू रिड्यूस इट आप उसको खींच के अपनी जगह पर बैठाने का कोशिश करेंगे तो दे आर पॉसिबिलिटीज कि उसके बीच में कुछ नर्व या आर्टरीज उसमें इंट्रैप हो सकती हैं और उनमें डैमेजेस हो सकते हैं सो अनटिल अनलेस यू आर क्वालिफाइड टू डू दैट डोंट ट्राई टू रिड्यूस सच काइंड ऑफ इंजरीज और यदि गर्दन में इंजरी होती है तो आप देख सकते हैं रॉन्ग मेथड ऐसा होता है जैसे ये पिक्चर में उसका पेशेंट का ऐसे उठाया जैसे किसी बोरे को उठाया हुआ है सो वॉट यू डू विद दैट इससे आप उसको जो इंजरी नहीं लगी है वो इंजरी उसको कर सकते हैं वो पेशेंट को शिफ्ट करने का तरीका बहुत अलग होता है हम लोग अगेन कभी ए टी एल एस के कोर्स में इसके बारे में बात करेंगे लॉग uh, रोलिंग मतलब इस तरह से कम से कम चार लोग वो पेशेंट को पकड़ के शिफ्ट करें गर्दन को स्टेबलाइज करके ही इस तरह के पेशेंट को हमको शिफ्ट किया जाना चाहिए ये डेफिनेटिव ट्रीटमेंट है एंड बिफोर कंक्लूडिंग माई टॉक मैं आप लोगों को बस ये थोड़ा सा एसोसिएशन के बारे में बताना चाहूँगा सो बेसिकली दिस इज ए राजस्थान एसोसिएशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन नाउ दैट इज बीन कॉल्ड एज थार एसोसिएशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन सो दिस वी हैव इस्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व उसके बाद में हम लोग दो नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेज कर चुके हैं एंड रेगुलरली वी आर डूइंग एजुकेशनल एक्टिविटीज ऑन द बैनर ऑफ दिस एसोसिएशन एंड दिस एसोसिएशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन एंड आई एस एम इज अफिलेटेड टू एशियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन और अदर वी कॉल इट एशियन फेडरेशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन सो इन दिस वे द लोकल एसोसिएशन इज अ गेट वे टू इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर ऑल्सो सो दीज आर सर्टेन एम्स ऑफ थार एसोसिएशन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन दैट टू प्रोपोगेट द एजुकेशन एंड टू मेक अ कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर ऑल दीज स्पेस्टिस्ट लाइक फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर्स द कोचेज फिजियोथेरापिस्ट स्पोर्ट्स मेडिसिन डॉक्टर्स आर्थ्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन स्ट्रेंथ कंडीशनिंग कोचेज दे कैन कम टू एस लाइक सेम प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड एक्टिव कम्युनिटी सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द ग्लिम्स ऑफ आर लास्ट आई एस एम कॉन सुबीर जी वॉज वेरी मच अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट एंड वी हैव मैनी मैनी इन फैकल्टीज वेरी इंथ्यूजियास्टिक स्पीकर्स टू दैट so uh, so which is it visible my screen has lost somewhere it is visible dr vikram your screen so, is visible yeah yeah so basically this was the end of my talk and uh, uh, i'll be happy if uh, any questions on that or subir ji what do you think we can take questions in the end uh if somebody is interested now also you can take i think That would be better because uh, they are warmed up with your presentation, and I could yeah. see that there are lots of people uh, who are really praising your deliberation. So why not now? Okay. किसी का अगर कोई क्वेश्चन है आप क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं आप अनम्यूट कीजिए माइक और क्वेश्चन करें डायरेक्टर डायरेक्टली डॉक्टर साहब को डॉक्टर साहब ने बड़ा सोबर ढंग से आपसे पेश आया बट उनसे मिलने के लिए बड़ा लंबा लाइन लगता है स्पोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल सो इट इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी जिनका भी अगर कोई इश्यूज है कोई प्रॉब्लम है कोई इंजरीज है प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेश्चन सो गाइस एनीथिंग फील फ्री टू आस्क और हेलो गुड इवनिंग सर या गुड इवनिंग सर, 
your voice voice is not clear can can you please repeat that sir i am facing oh. problem in doing yeah. over head exercises you are facing subir ji can you can you hear that i'm ah uh, yeah let let continue over head exercises over head exercise you are facing problem with the over head exercises yes sir okay fine so and uh, what sports you play or sir, just exercise short put. sorry short put yes sir yeah so there may be multiple problems to the shoulder like first is we have to assess your rotator cuff strength because in every kind of throwing is sports like javelin throw or short put the rotator cuff is the basic muscle which has to be strengthened so what we do during strengthening we just focus on the like pectorals or the scapula stabilizers we don't focus on the rotator cuff so if there is a not rotator cuff a rotator cuff is not strengthened properly you may be you may find problem in the overhead activities so basically uh, and from where are you from which place you belong to sir rajasthan only alwar rajasthan you are in rajasthan itself yes sir Uh, hello sir sir yeah hello sir yeah am yeah. i audible yeah you sir are. i have a question yeah sir sir what is your views about ballistic stressing and pnf stressing which is better for flexibility so oh, well really this is not my domain because i am arthroscopic surgeon so i'll put you to uh, like subir ji can respond uh, to your question better yeah uh, okay. Uh, may I know from uh, May I know your name? Yes, After sir. Name. Uh, my name is Rahul Dev Chowdhury. I am from Tripura, Regional College of Physical Education. Perfect. So, uh, gentlemen, uh, it depends on the ballistic flexibility of the PNF. In case of PNF, it is that uh, with the help of your partner, you are developing the flexibility. And uh, if you go with the increasing the flexibility. i think the pnf is the best way to increase your what is called your flexibility so so do you recommend uh, ballistic stressing because it is obsolete almost because it is ah see uh, see there are two different things if you are going for the gymnastic like sports where the swing yeah. makes uh, better then you have to go for the ballistic uh, flexibility Otherwise, okay. PNF is good enough. Other even Thank slow you. static stretching is ultimate. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Hello, sir. Hello, Vikram, sir. Yeah, please. Yeah. Hello. The question is not about the injury, but I have the injury. Ah, uh, this is your voice is breaking. can you put it to chat box or call for operation so this was meniscus injury they told me acha okay yeah uh, uh, wait, hello sir yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 please ask your question hello yeah you uh, said... sir mujhe meniscus injury hui thi 2001 yeah uh, 2001 mein mera operation hua tha sir iska surgery hui thi so abhi kya hota hai sir jaise main thoda khelta hu to स्वेलिंग आती है इसमें सर तो मुझे क्या खेलना कंटिन्यू चाहिए या छोड़ देना चाहिए और विद इन वीक वो बैठ भी जाती है सर अगर मैं रेस्ट करता हूं तो वेल एज यू सेड शुड आई प्ले और नॉट सो व्हाट व्हाट स्पोर्ट्स यू प्ले वॉलीबॉल सर वॉलीबॉल सो नंबर 1 जो आपको 2001 में इंजरी हुआ तो एट दैट टाइम मेनिसकस रिपेयर वाज नॉट अ कॉमन थिंग तो व्हाट आई अज्यूम कि आपको मेनिसेक्टोमी हुआ होगा मतलब yes. आपका मेनिसकस का एक छोटा हिस्सा वहां से निकाला गया होगा जब भी मेनिसकस का एक छोटा हिस्सा निकाला जाता है तो हम लोग ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस के लिए प्रोन होते हैं मतलब हमारा घुटने के अंदर जो डीजेनरेटिव चेंजेस होते हैं मतलब घिसावट वाले चेंजेस होते हैं वो आने का संभावना उसमें बढ़ जाता है सो वॉट आई कैन सजेस्ट यू कि उसके लिए एक क्योंकि दो से अभी बहुत सारा समय निकल चुका है तो एक तो आज की तारीख का असेसमेंट होना चाहिए आपको जो स्वेलिंग आता है उसका कारण ये हो सकता है कि उस जोड़ में आपको थोड़ा सा घिसा बटा गया हो मतलब डीजेनरेशन उसमें डेवलप हो गया हो तो पहली चीज असेसमेंट होना चाहिए आपको अपना ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम में थोड़ा सा लो इम्पैक्ट एक्टिविटीज उसमें डालना चाहिए लाइक साइकिलिंग स्विमिंग ये सारी चीजें आपको अपना लाइक स्ट्रेंथनिंग प्रोग्राम में एडप्ट करना चाहिए 
आपको खेलना चाहिए या नहीं खेलना चाहिए इस चीज का असेसमेंट आपके आज के घटने की परिस्थिति क्या है वो देख के ही हो सकता है सो एज आई एम शेयरिंग माई ई मेल्स डैट इज माई कॉरपोरेट ई मेल वो मेरा पर्सनल ई मेल नहीं है जिससे मैं आप सभी लोगों को मेल करता हूँ तो आप लोगों को कभी एज ए स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ऐसी किसी चीज़, चीज़ का जरूरत होती है तो आप अपने इन्वेस्टिगेशन वगैरह मुझे भेज दीजिए एंड आई ट्राई टू हेल्प यू आउट ऑन दैट क्योंकि मुझे जब तक आपकी आज की स्थिति का पता नहीं चलेगा आई नॉट बी एबल टू कमेंट कमेंट यू ऑन दैट कि एग्जैक्टली exactly आपको स्पोर्ट्स कंटिन्यू करना चाहिए या नहीं करना चाहिए बट कारण जो मैं समझ सकता हूँ दैट इज ए डी जनरेटिव आर्थराइटिस आफ्टर मैंने सेक टर्म थैंक यू सिंगल मसल कुछ कैन रियलीप यू टू प्ले better volleyball if you are having a gluteus or quadriceps if you don't have the calf muscle you will not get a jump so i think it's better that you should develop the lower extremities very as well as the upper extremities in a total all round development the fitness then only you can play better volleyball thank you so ujwal as subir ji has said definitely a full uh, strengthening program and as we have been talking about uh, like a short put thrower so volleyball is again a shoulder sports so no. would require a rotator cuff strengthening and as subir ji said all the lower limb strengthening no. core strengthening everything yes hello yeah please yes. yeah can please. you hear me yeah yes Mr. hello rajesh, we can hear. Yes, Rajesh ji, we can hear. Sir, this is Dr. Rajesh Kairwar from Hindustan College of Science and Technology, Fare Mathura. Okay, great. Hello. Ah, Rajesh ji, please push it. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, there is a problem uh, under my coaching. There. Yeah, your yeah, video is freezed. Up, push it, please. राजेश जी आपका साउंड और वीडियो नहीं आ रहा है आप चैट बॉक्स में टाइप कर सकते हैं एक दिन में क्लीन एंड जर कर रही थी तभी मेरा रिस्ट ब्रेकेज हो गया उस दिन से आज तक मैं जब भी लिफ्ट करती हूँ ना तो वो पेन रहा है तो मैं क्या करूं क्योंकि मैं लोल नहीं ले सकता हूं सर सो मिस्टर पिंटू हां सर कैमिनस रिस्ट इंजरी इज अ क्योंकि वेट लिफ्टिंग में बहुत कॉमन होता है क्योंकि यदि आप का शरीर उस चीज के लिए प्रोपरेट नहीं है और आपने क्लीन एंड जर्क हल्के से किया है सो देयर इज अ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू ऑन द रिस्ट वी कॉल इट टीएफसीसी ट्राई एंगुलर फाइब्रोकार्टिलेज तो बहुत ज्यादा ये बहुत कॉमन इंजरी होती है रिस्ट का तो इस चीज़ की बहुत ज्यादा संभावना है कि रिस्ट में ऐसा प्रॉब्लम हुआ हो सो डायग्नोसिस कैन बी कंफर्म्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम आर आई और यदि उसमें टी एफ सी सी का इंजरी है तो आपको उसका सर्जिकल रेमेडी में जाना पड़ेगा टी एफ सी सी इज इंटैक्ट दैन फिजियोथेरेपी लाइक स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ सराउंडिंग मसल्स कैन हेल्प यू तो फर्स्ट थिंग वुड बी डायग्नोस लाइक a proper diagnosis of your problem so for that there should be a mri to your wrist without mri you will not be able to confirm that thing out and i hope you have consulted to local orthopedic surgeon or a sports medicine guy over there if not then you should consult because until unless you get an mri done you will not be able to get a proper diagnosis and i have i assume mujhe aisa lagta hai 
बट आपको पीएफसीसी का इंजरी हुआ है तो यू शुड कंफर्म दैट डायग्नोसिस फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनी सर मेरा क्वेश्चन थोड़ा सा ओके सर थैंक यू या राहुल प्लीज ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर या सर आई हैव लिगामेंट इंजरी हुए या से तो along with uh, some autoimmune problem like uric acid problem presently yeah. i have some uh, problem in my knees and sir do you recommend me to undergo surgery as i am 45 years now so rahul what kind of ligament problem is this this is a cruciate ligament injury complete tear even this is way back you should get it treated otherwise you will end up with very much degenerated knee so in some of my further talks we'll be talking in details about the consequences of not getting treated these ligament injuries par yadi aapka ligament completely torn hai to aapko uska treatment karwana chahiye kyunki jaisa ki this sports person ne bola tha ki meniscus injury hua unka knee ke andar degenerative changes the matlab bisavat ke changes the so if you don't get your ligament injury treated you are prone for permanent damages to your joint तो आई थिंक आपको एक रिसेंट उसका असेसमेंट होना चाहिए हमारा ही होना चाहिए और आज की तारीख में जो भी लिगामेंट में इंजरी है उसका ट्रीटमेंट आपको प्रॉपर करवाना चाहिए एल्स यूल डेफिनेटली लैंड अप टू बेटर पेन एक्चुअली सर त्रिपुरा इज फार फ्लंग फ्रॉम अदर स्टेट्स लाइक दिल्ली और चेन्नई आई एम फ्रॉम त्रिपुरा यहां ऐसा डॉक्टर है नहीं सर राहुल हिंदुस्तान के कोई ऐसा कोना नहीं है जहाँ पर डॉक्टर्स नहीं है यू शेयर मी योर एड्रेस ऑन माय ईमेल एंड एंड आई विल फाइंड अ गुड डॉक्टर नियरेस्ट टू यू बिकॉज़ आई एम क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद द इंडियन आर्थ्रोस्कोपी एसोसिएशन एंड वी हैव 2500 मेंबर्स हु आर डूइंग दीस सर्जरीज मे बी सम ऑफ द न्यू कमर्स आर देयर बट एंड एंड यू कैन ट्रैवल टू एनी प्लेस फॉर योर करियर डॉक्टर हिमांशु साइकिलिंग को असेस करो उसका फ्रेम को असेस करो उसका रीच को असेस करो मतलब यदि उसका फ्रेम आप सूट नहीं करता है तो आपको उसमें एक्सटेंशन बार लगाने पड़ेंगे यदि आपको ज्यादा झुकना पड़ता है आपका पोस्टर प्रॉपर नहीं है देन वो ही कारण हो सकता है ट्रिपीजियस टाइटनेस का अदरवाइज साइकिलिंग इज अ वेरी लाइक सेफ स्पोर्ट्स यदि उसका मेक में इफ साइकिल इज नॉट फिट एज पर योर लाइक बॉडी कंपोजिशन तो यदि उसका रीच मतलब उसका बार यदि बड़ा है आपको ज्यादा झुकना पड़ता है तो आप उसमें हैंडल में एक्सटेंशन बार लगा सकते हैं जिससे कि आपको एक्सेसिव झुकना नहीं पड़े दूसरा बात यदि आप साइकिलिंग करने से पहले स्ट्रेचिंग करेंगे लाइक like आपका पेल्विक मसल ग्लूटियस ये सब रिलैक्स होंगे तो आपको साइकिलिंग के पोस्चर में थोड़ा सा आसानी होगा सो फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी यू कैन ट्राई फॉर और साइकिलिंग का रीच को थोड़ा सा एडजस्ट करने का कोशिश करिए बायोमैकेनिकल एस्पेक्ट द लेंथ ऑफ द व्हाट इज द लीव्स हैज टू बी टेकन कंसीडरेशन हेलो सर यस यस गुड इवनिंग सर Sir, uh, I have a question. Uh, yeah. What are the indication of uh, surgical management after uh, these regional uh, conditions, which occurs due to uh, these uh, sports injuries and all? Pritham, your voice was breaking. Uh, Subir ji, could you collect that? Uh, what uh, Pritham was trying to ask? Ah, uh, not exactly. So you were, you were. Dubara, bolia. Sir, I am. Yeah. Yes, sir. I I am asking uh, what are the indication for surgical management after those regional uh, injuries which uh, happens due to sports in, uh, and all. So well. What are the indication? Yeah, so yeah. to yeah. what extent we can uh, manage it with physiotherapy and conservative uh, management? Then I got your question. 
but to answer that the reply would be too long and i would definitely like to take this question in my some other day talk specifically for sports injuries but to summarize this every sports injury has a like category for example if we talk about anterior cruciate ligament injury there are gradings of that like grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 partial tear complete tear or a single bundle tear so if there is a partial anterior cruciate ligament tear and demand of knee is not very high like there is a partial anterior cruciate ligament tear in a housewife so she may not require any surgical correction for that but if a partial tear in a footballer definitely he would require a surgical correction for that in case of complete ligament tear there is no place for physiotherapy in partial tears yes definitely strengthening quadriceps hamstring in acl you would definitely not out chalo boom ne mic is open please close that so uh, for partial injuries yes you can try with physiotherapy but in cases of complete tears like acl tears complete rotator cuff tears complete muscle tears you should not try for physiotherapy in partial tears yes surrounding of uh, strengthening of surrounding muscles can be helpful some of the sports injuries like medial cruciate uh, medial collateral ligament tears and ankle sprains they respond very good with the physiotherapy tennis elbow can be very well treated with the help of a good physiotherapy so i think that suffices the answer and uh, in one, detail one question has been written by atharva thank you sir atharva why number of female suffer from rhodosis that affect their glutes and quadriceps so other there are multiple reasons for that the muscle toning and they don't have their glutes and uh, for lordosis the common thing is to start chapla hua ye pain ko ter ke chapla please uh, baki log mic ko band kar de avinash please put your mic off mr avinash chaudhary so other for some of the like uh, female are prone for lordosis because the weak glutea weak hamstrings so the pelvis is more tilted forward as a result of that the lordosis or the curve curve of the lower back would be more apart from that in cases of pregnancy there is a weakening of core muscles and the abdominal muscles that make them more prone for lordosis so these are the basic things which definitely can be uh, cured or can be treated with the help of a good strengthening i think other you are the same uh, the strength and conditioning coach which you met yes sir the... yes sir yeah good so other with the i think your stream also you can treat if there's no uh, structural problem so they 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 can be very well treated with the good strength and conditioning regime to that got it yeah. thank you sir so i think subir ji yes so hello yeah jatender yeah uh, hello dr vikram sharma uh, for the very insightful session now i uh, want to welcome the second uh, speaker for the session dr subhit devnath uh, dr subhit devnath is a sports officer and head of physical education and sports department at the renowned institute of uh, uh, nit among nit that is mnit jaipur 